Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I'd like to continue on the topic of um, sin and how the environment um, can affect us, how, how sin is, in effect, contagious. Um, when we see improper behavior, whether it's out-and-out sin, uh, or even something that's just improper, immoral, indecent. Um, we should strengthen ourselves to avoid it. First of all, avoid coming into the situation in the first place, and then removing ourselves, or at least strengthening ourselves um, against it. It was uh, the Rambam, Rabbi Moses uh, ben Maimon, Maimonides, who <clears throat> says that it's the nature of of man to gravitate towards and be influenced by the philosophies and behaviors of uh, those around him. Um, we are affected by, and in the case of sin, sometimes, God forbid, corrupted by our environment. People, according to the Rambam, people have a natural tendency to be uh, provoked by the uh, evil exploits, evil philosophies of those um, uh, around him. He compares it to sulfur, which is ignited when it, becomes, uh, when it comes near to a flame. Um, people can be sometimes uh, also uh, like parrots. You uh, imitate sounds, even though you don't even fully appreciate what the sounds are, what the, what the speech is, the evil speech, for example. You may not fully appreciate what you're doing, but you still, you just, you just parrot it back um, anyway. <clears throat> We can learn a lesson from this. Someone who commits a sin, someone who engages in sinful behavior, especially if they're being seen as a Jew, as a Noahide, as a righteous person, not only is do you get uh, the sin itself, which is bad, you get a chil Hashem, a, a desecration of the name of God because a holy person, a, reg, a righteous person is behaving in this way, and you run the risk of, God forbid, influencing someone else to do the, um, the bad behavior. That's what's, uh, um, that's what's so bad about uh, something called, like Maris Ayan, something that doesn't look good. You may be doing something that's kosher, but because it looks bad, for example, if I were to have uh, a kosher, for lack of a better word, a kosher cheeseburger, kosher meat, non-dairy cheese, now, logically, there's nothing wrong with that. But because of the concept of Mars Ayan, someone else may see me with my payas and my yarmulke and my tzitzes uh, saying, Oi, he's eating a cheeseburger. I guess cheeseburgers are kosher. It's the appearance that can uh, influence per uh, a person. <clears throat> if compared to someone who has a disease and who, God forbid, and he knows he has a disease, and he, God forbid, puts himself in a situation where he's going to deliberately infect people. That's a, a terrible thing to, to have people known, knowingly contract a, a dangerous disease. Um, someone who's contagious, someone who engages in sinful uh, behavior can infect people who may not have yet built up the antibodies um, uh, to prevent that. Um, it's a terrible thing. We have to be very, very diligent in our behavior, not just because it's our behavior, but for the possibility of, God forbid, um, uh, infecting others, influencing others to such sinful behavior. Leaf um, neiver, putting a stumbling block uh, in front of the blind, which of course is a Torah prohibition. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.